Hello, you're watching Ellie from Elementary Paper Crafting. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK. Last week, I showed you the beautiful Wisteria Wishes stamp set from Stamping Up, um, which comes with a matching set of dies. And I showed you how I made this card. And the majority of this was just simple stamping onto cardstock. And then I just added these die cuts to bring it a little bit more to life. And I did say to you that I was going to bring you another video with the same kind of idea, but just stepping it up to make it a bit more three dimensional. So that's what I'm bringing you today. So let's start with a piece of cardstock which is very vanilla this week. And I chose very vanilla because I wanted to go for a completely different color scheme. Um, so this is not going to look like wisteria at all. And I did say one of the things I particularly liked about the stamp set is that it didn't have to be just wisteria. You could make it into any pretty flower. So I'm sticking with the basic design of this. Um, using the upright flowers at the bottom and the trailing ones at the top. And I'm stamping in pear pizzazz to begin with. And I'm following very, very same similar pattern that I used before. So starting by stamping my stems just off the page so that they don't come too far up and I'm actually going to do secondary oh actually if I do this one here and then I'll use the stamped off part there and there just to give that look of some more stems in the background and then I'm still going to use the pear pizzazz but I'm going to use the stamps that I've used at the top here to have the nice foliage coming in from the top. Now I'm not going to stamp those bits that come down. I'm just going to put my stamp like so to just get the foliage in really. So I start there and again, secondary stamping to get that look of leaves that are not quite in the foreground. And come along, turning the angle of the stamp here and there. And then as I get over to this side, I'm going to bring in these pieces here, the little stems that are coming down to actually hang off some of my flowers. Bring a background in there. Like so. So that gives us the fullness. So I'm just going to use that single leaf bow here just to come in with some extra foliage to bulk it up and as you can see I'm again doing the first and second generation stamping and I'm just going to do some second generation here at the bottom so it looks like there's some extra foliage coming in behind there Okay, so as in the previous card stock, uh, card, sorry, I am going to stamp my um, blossoms, flowers, whatever you like to call them, in two colours. So pale papaya, flirty flamingo. So I'm bringing in the pale papaya and the stamp set here and I'm just inking that up 
and then I'm taking the sponge dormer for flirty flamingo which is the, the darker colour in the same family and then I'm just going to use that to highlight the bottom of the stamp there to make this into a two-tone colour and then they're going there and if I just stamp that a couple of times, that'll take the excess ink off so that I can go back into the pale papaya in again with the flirty flamingo to get those two tones. I love these two colours together. I think that looks really, really beautiful. So stamp that off a couple of times, re-ink pale papaya, and then again with flirty flamingo. And just as before, these are going to come from above. Now I had thought about using uh, yellow and making this into golden chain. I don't know if anybody remembers that. It used to be very popular. I, I remember it when I was a child. It, it, um, we had some in our garden, and you did see it growing um, in quite a lot of places. Um, but it's actually poisonous. So, um, and I haven't seen it for a long, long time. So I don't know whether, um, whether they've, you know, people just don't grow it anymore because it's poisonous. I'm not sure. I think I will just do a little bit of secondary there just to give a little bit of colour in the background but this is where we're going to step it up a bit okay so on this one I used um, a piece of cardstock that matched my paler flower colour and I mounted the piece I stamped on top of it well I'm going to do the same again and I'm using the pale papaya to go behind it like so so I'm going to stick those two together and I'll probably speed that up for you So then I'm going to use a piece of the Stamping Up double-sided uh, foam adhesive. So I'm just going to peel off the backing and put that onto the back of this one and then I will take the backing off and put it onto the card base. So I'll just do that off camera to save some time. So that's already given it some dimension, as you can see at the back. OK, and that's really solid. So the next thing we're going to do is I've done this ahead of time because it's quite, quite time consuming. I've used the dies to cut out lots of elements to build this up. So this one is like a long stem. Then I've used the dies that I used before in two shades I've used again the pale papaya and the flirty flamingo I've used the um, die here and this one and then I've cut all my bits up so I stamped in the colors we've already used which was the pear pizzazz pale papaya and flirty flamingo and I've done the stems like that and I've done the flowers here and stamped on top with the darker colour of Calypso Coral to bring that out. 
So now I'm going to do the same as I did last time and just pop these on top of the bits we've stamped. In fact, I'm going to just bring them slightly off so that it gives you a sort of um, shadow of the leaves and foliage as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up like so so that I can get an edge so I can stick these down and cut them off afterwards. So with my glue I'm just going to put a little dot on the back here and there. It's just cardstock so it doesn't need lots of glue. If you put too much on it will start to squeeze out and spoil the, the look of your card. So I like to use my tweezers when I'm doing something like this. And I'm just sticking it very, very slightly down and at an angle so that it just gives that effect of fuller foliage. And then the same on this side. And then I'm going to come in with my snips and I'm just going to go like so under there. And then we can pop our flower heads again on the top there. Just going to bring them slightly to one side, like so, so we get a little shadow. Just a little shadow there. So it looks like more flowers growing behind. Now for these, I'm going to bring them up onto some foam. And if I just bring this up again, you'll see that you've got dimension there and there. So I'm now coming in with some foliage that I've cut. Again, using the stamped images and cut with the dies. So this is part of the vine, if you like. And I thought if I bring that in like so... And then perhaps gently down there, it just brings that little bit more dimension into it. And I'm just going to use my snips to just cut this off at an angle to soften it. And then that will come in like so down that way this one can come in at an angle like that and it just gives that little bit of extra something to um, make that more interesting and I'm just going to stick this down using my Tombow glue Then I can come in with the pieces that I've cut out and they can come along here and like I've done before I'm just going to set it slightly at an angle and pop these like so. So you've got lots of foliage in the background to give it a really good dimension. Now I do want these to be built up 
So I'm bringing in the stamping up foam adhesive strips that are very narrow. And these will be great on the back of the vines at the top there. So we can bring this on like so to give it that extra dimension. And then I'm going to pop these pieces just up on those pads again. So then I'm bringing in the pieces that I've used the tape on. And here I have um, some more foliage that I've cut out, used, I've punched, sorry, I've stamped and cut with a die cut. So with these pieces, I'm going to just pop them in and around our flowers as I feel, feel fit. And I'm going to just put these down flat with the Tombow glue. And then finally, I'm bringing back the two beautifully cut pieces. Again, the pale papaya with the um, I think it's Calypso Coral on the top there. So it's the darker colour there. And they're going to hang down like that. Okay. So I'm going to try and put quite a bit of dimension on the back of these to bring them up nice and high. I'm just going to see, I'm not sure whether we need these or not, but they might look nice just brought in here. The background perhaps. Yep, I'm just gonna add those in. Okay, so that's today's finished card. As you can see, it's almost the same design as before, but because we've used the dies to cut all this out and some, put some dimension behind it, 
is given a whole new look to this card. It's much fuller, much more luxurious, really. Um, and you can post this. It's not a problem to pop in the post. This foam tape goes, you know, relaxes. It's fine. But what I would suggest is when you put it in the post, pop an extra piece of card over the top so that this doesn't get damaged. The ends don't get damaged in the mail. So um, I'd be interested to know which one you like the best. Perhaps if you'd like to comment. As usual, you will find links to the digital catalogues in the description box below and also a link to my online store where you can buy any of the products I've demonstrated today and indeed any of the products that appear in the current catalogues. Thank you very much for watching and you will see on a Saturday afternoon at 2.30 I do a live, that's 2.30 GMT and Wednesday evenings I post my usual recorded video like today. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye bye.